I think this last field is totally round the houses. I thought it was adjacent to some of my fields, but it really isn't. Oh, and expensive wages. Now, I think we go through here. Yes, and we go around this field. So the field that I don't own, number 40, is a grass field, which we have done contracts on. Which I haven't really messed with. Oh, actually, no, it's 40, which is just not the greatest field to get at. This is the field that we own and I think this field has an open top so this field slots right up against our existing field um, and so there's an opportunity to just take that hedge out plow these two together and plant the same thing on both of them it's a bit late for this year but that could definitely be a good plan. However, not happening right now, we are going to set this up on first waypoint. And um, course generator. Yeah, so set. I'm going to drop that down to 7, 8. I'm going to up that to 10%. Generator course. Over here. So that looks fine. We can back out of that, cancel that, back out of that, and we are starting right there. So let's get this thing unfolded while we uh, maneuver into position. Oh, that is a grass. F no, that's the grass field there. It's that field behind the trees in front of us that doesn't really have an obvious way in from any of our fields. Alright, you are good. Let's get you running. Bye bye. Okay, he is off and running. Um, he's the last tractor in the group. He sat there. He is doing all his things. See, I think the, the worker is detecting the posts in the hedge and saying, oh, that looks worrisome. Which is why the course play messages keeps popping up as blocked. Okay, I am definitely going to get some bales. going to knock that uh, crate of tomatoes over. Okay, we will attach that. Oops. Don't know what those red lines mean. And I will put it on the floor. Actually, you know what? Um, let's lower that. See if that makes a difference with how it hangs. Okay, we uh, scratch the paint on the roof. Okay, let's go. Grab this. And 
Let's go shopping. Because it's been a while, good grief, it's two o'clock in the afternoon game time. I wasn't expecting that. How's the cedars at 46%? The roller's running and we are heading out. Okay. Might also be worthwhile checking out productions. I am going to guess that our flour mill production is close to capacity again. Dairy is not too bad. There's still a space for one crate to spawn before it fills up. But we are producing so much flour at the moment that um, we're actually filling the storage capacity of the flour mill. And we haven't leveled that up. That's still a level one flour mill. Um, I think when, when you level up a, you know, enhancer production, it's effectively the equivalent of buying another production and putting it on top of the one that already exists. So it doubles, it, it's slightly better than doubles the uh, production rate. And it also, oops, oops. Oops. It also uh, doubles the storage. So it doesn't mean what you put in it is going to last longer because you're going to go through it twice as fast. But if you can supply enough stuff to run the production for a year, then with its available storage then um, doubling the production will double that so you will still have enough uh, capacity to load it up with one year supply of uh, needed things okay here we are um, anything oh hello That's interesting. That's a spreader for things. Oh, there's a license plate on the back. That might be handy. I've added something to the game, which... Uh, um, actually, I want to be there. Lizard. Oh, this is not always the best thing to look up. I, J, K... L. L, 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 L. Is it that thing? All the things and all the stuff. Yeah, that thing. Combinations. Oh, that goes on that. Oh, the Man TGS tank pack. Okay, so I want to go to the drugs. Rocks, man, TGS, and I think this was a new thing that got added recently. Oh yes, so this tanker will take you know canola and all of the things, including milk and water, which is the expansion on the base game version. It will also give you this to go on the back of that truck, which carries the same stuff, so you can transport digestate. It's only 8,000 litres. Um, I don't know that it has. It does not have an unrealistic capacity, but I'm fine with that. And then you can also get a couple of animals and a couple more animals. So... It's kind of useful. It's a short truck body. So it's kind of reasonable for driving around places. 
Uh, that's messing with the horsepower. To be frank, 12,000 for 20 horsepower, probably not worth it. Um, cabin standard with an extension with, ooh, funky beacon lights. Two designs of beacon lights. Uh, disruption camouflage for some reason. Uh, you can have a three point on the front or not. Actually, that was fun having the uh, the Brooks um, tree chipper. You just drive up to a tree, you chop the tree off, and it would then just turn it all into wood chips and throw it in the back of the truck. That was fun. Uh, you can have GPS, you can have color, inner space. Oh, you can change the cabin color. That's kind of cool. Rim color, you can change. Yeah. So anyway, nice looking little truck. It's it's a semi. Although it's a bit long as a semi, that's a lot of turning circle. But as a short wheelbase thing, if I could put a tipper on the back of that, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, we just get the spreader, the tanker, and the tiny um, animal things. Anyway. We were actually at the store for a reason, which is this thing here. Oh, bales. Uh, round bales. Maze. Eight. We'll make them yellow. Because why not? And I want to buy some. That's eight. Sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Back, 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 and turn this into a collection. Try again. There we go. And 28 bales fully loaded. And then again, I'll reiterate here, I am using this in auto load mode because the Anderson bale loader is just not playing well with whatever I've got set up on this map. As soon as it starts picking these bales up, it bonds them together, so they just form an unwieldy string of bales. And the only thing you can do with those bales is unload them into a cell point so that they vanish. If you do anything else with them, or if you try and do anything else with them, they just they're all sort of welded together but flexibly welded together so they just become a flexible train of mess of bales um, you can't stab them with bale forks you can't separate them um, they're just a total failure I mean as it is even our bale forks are having problems um, picking up bales and letting go. And I don't know if it's something Giants did or something a DLC did. It, it started happening when we got the Govil um, DLC pack. But it's just, it, it's made the bales almost unplayable with. Um, it may not be the Govil um, DLC, it might be something else. 
that's interfering with you know creating just this horrible condition with bales um, I think I got a bale grab for the um, the the little duty uh, telehandler oh and the jeep okay so I am going to unload I guess these on that side and then I guess we'll put this back somewhere yeah I'm kind of looking at this and I'm saying this is the only spare tractor I have over here at the moment Let's reset, let's make sure the situation. Yeah. yeah the forage harvest is sticking out a little bit. Uh, not the bestest of situations. this put away um, eventually all righty you are good drop that off as I was saying, this is the only tractor over here, so oh, just in time somebody finished something I'm guessing that's actually the Aryan indeed it is this field actually looks fine, so Actually, it's completely missed that corner, hasn't it? Hmm. That's definitely not looking 100% rolled, so uh, I guess we'll correct that. It's kind of weird. Fold it up and I think maybe we will check. What does the map look like? That looks fine. So it's actually purple for mulched. See, it's missing bits when it's rolling. Oh well, it is what it is. This is seeding needs rolled. So we'll head down there and get this set up. Now the, the easy way to get to that field is actually to come in this way up and around rather than driving just all over the place maybe I'll go that way okay so class Aryan let's roll literally and figuratively oh we're down to 19% seeds may need to restock yes yeah the the Anderson X tractor was the first thing I had problems with so much so I ended up with uh, Ghostbusters stay puffed marshmallow man wandering across my fields in a rampage um, it was quite impressive to watch um, 
I also ended up with the Anderson Bale trailer going into orbit and I'm not kidding it just took off and just went up and left the map um, I tabbed to a different vehicle and I could not then tab back to the John Deere which was hauling it I had to I couldn't select the vehicles to reset them um, I don't think there's a reset option on the uh, on here I don't think I can go there yeah I can't select a thing and reset it so that that was just a huge giant problem so I couldn't reset the equipment to anywhere um, so I ended up selling the equipment buying it back um, editing the vehicle XML to make it the same age as it had been before I deleted you know before I sold it and bought it back and then I had to go in using the easy development controls and delete all bales on the map and the problem is is you, the only option you have is to delete all so if you want to save some of your bales because they're not doing crazy tough put them somewhere safe which is why we've got the bale storage shed because I can use that to store the bales um, however again um, short bought bales do not spawn above ground from that bale shed or the bale storage shed so again another issue it does mean for the next next map I may completely skip doing bales for a sizable portion of the beginning of the uh, the game and just stick with um, the not bale stuff uh, mowing raking foraging uh, forage wagon pickup um, or a forage harvester and don't know if you can pick up hay or straw with a forage harvester mm. I suppose that's a question I could answer fairly easily this will pick up see that just looks like straw straw and straw and that is something that picks up the same that's a mower it will cut grass and those and then that's a forager which will forage all of those um, that's just a support wheel that sits on the front so that it doesn't drag on the floor and uh, that's a poplar so you can't pick up hay with that which is a bit sad because I would like the ability to pick up hay however hay bales is not something I'm having too much of a problem with for the most part and I can do them square so that's not necessarily a problem but I think I think the next the next farm will be doing a lot more loose stuff now something that Cavalier Roy has pointed out since this map came out um, he's edited it a couple of times and if you start a new game save and you're playing in farm manager or start from scratch mode none of the yards have buildings um, now if you're playing base you know what's it new farmer um, i believe um, where is it the stores here this farm here is the starting farm with a couple of the fields around it but there's a farm over here there's a farm right here there's a farm here got a good number of farms actually that's the starting farm there's a farm here 
there's this farm here and there's that farm there. This one's small but has no animals. This one has cows and pigs. Um, but, you know, there's dozens of farms, but they all come preset with their buildings. And a lot of people suggested, you know, maybe if I want to start from scratch, I want to make my own um, farm. So he's like, okay, fine. So for it, it's only for new farmer that you get the various yards around with the buildings in otherwise you don't which is kind of crazy because this is the only farm you start with although you could start a new farmer sell this farm and then buy this farm but it will have all the buildings installed if you do start from scratch or farm manager no buildings in any of the yards so you have to build your own farms Um, we not we as I said we don't encounter that because we started this farm when the map was brand new. We've incorporated all of the updates, which is why there's gaps between some of the hedges. Like uh, I can go there and oh I can reset that. I don't want to reset that. I want to jump in it. Yeah, whatever. Let's back off. Um, see there's a gap in the hedge there there's another gap in the hedge directly behind us um, and that's because I've chopped down these hedges um, you can see on the left there that field those are all in-game hedges not um, map hedges and where I chopped them down and there's been an update uh, it's resequence the object number in the XML for the map so hedges I chopped down came back and hedges that I've never been anywhere near have vanished but yeah I can use a loading wagon and I would need to use some form of storage device now loading wagons where are they 